Welcome back to Midco Sports Magazine. Well, if champions are determined by trophies and titles and hardware, then Gary Brown Jr. is already one of the greatest dirt track drivers ever in South Dakota. He's keeping up the family tradition one left turn at a time. And Jay Elson has his story. The dirt roads that line the South Dakota countryside are more necessity than nice and often draw the line between civilization and isolation. But these country highways are also filled with lessons, a place where fathers teach their sons and, in some cases, plant the seeds of passion. For Gary Brown Jr., this gravel simply lined the path to a different kind of dirt track the kind that celebrates fast cars and checkered flags. Well, I got started racing, um, obviously, through my, my dad. And uh, growing up, uh, he started racing before I was born. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of something that uh, my oldest brother, Mark, got into. And we were all just kind of born into it. You know, started off early years of my life going to the racetrack during the summers and kind of haven't stopped going since. Gary's initial contributions to the family effort came in the shop. He learned how to care for cars, how to ensure that no laps were unnecessarily lost. But by age 15, maintenance was no longer enough to satisfy his own need for speed. That's when he approached his father, Gary Brown Sr. My dad was racing down in Stewart, Nebraska, and he let me take it out for some hot laps around the track. I had a lot of fun and um, next year started racing. It was something that I'm thinking that he knew was coming all along but uh, you know a couple years before that I kind of hee-hawed around whether or not I wanted to get into it um, but uh, as the older I got and you know start driving on the street obviously and start going around town spinning your tires. I think it's something that you just kind of in your blood. And, uh, but I'm sure he was really happy about it. Um, he was, uh, you know, him and my brother were the ones that basically worked on my car a lot to get me going. With the family roles somewhat reversed, Brown turned his first official laps in the bomber class at South Dakota's Lake Andes Speedway in May of 1993. He switched to the late model class three years later and began a speedy evolution from inexperienced up-and-comer to perennial championship contender. With his brother Mark serving as crew chief, Brown claimed his first season championship in 2001, and their success has continued ever since. The 22 car has now collected a total of 13 track titles, including seven at the historic Houston Speedway where Brown has also become the all-time winningest late model driver. You know, I was just thinking about that the other day. I was, you know, the wins that you have, you, you, you really can't remember all of them. You know, I was just looking back in some pictures and uh, seeing some of the cars brought back a lot of memories. But, uh, you know, it means a lot. There's a lot of good drivers that have run in this, uh, in this class. And to have my name up against, you know, those guys means a lot to me. Brown's one regret is that his father hasn't been around to share in his success. It was the summer of 2005, just days after his latest win, when Gary Brown Sr. found out he had cancer. He died three weeks later. You know, you lose some guidance. You know, anybody that uh, that's that close to you and involved with your racing, you know, if you have any experience, any troubles, you know, he was probably one of the first calls you would make to figure out what might be wrong with the car. Uh, so you lose that. And uh, But as far as a fan, yeah, him, him and my mom would travel over from winter very often on the weekends to, to watch us not only, you know, come up for Houston's, of course, on Sunday nights, but uh, Lake County Speedway or I-90 Speedway on Saturday nights. He really enjoyed watching us race. Um, probably really enjoyed the fact that my brother and I did it together as well because, um, you know, he did it with his brothers growing up as well, too. Brown says his father's memory will continue to fuel his career going forward. At just 37 years old, there's no telling when the red flag will finally fall. 
But one thing is certain. Whether his legacy includes more hardware or not, Junior is going to enjoy the ride, just like he did the first time his father let him drive. I live about a mile north of Houston Speedway, so that'd be tough to quit racing and still hear the engines roar on Sunday nights. I don't know if I could be a good spectator or not. I just, it's something that I, you know, as, as a kid growing up, it was something I always did was compete, whether it be in baseball or football growing up, and it's just the competition, I think, it just keeps bringing me back. There's Jay Elson, everybody, and uh, good story. Sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, uh, sprint cars, everybody loves sprint cars around here. Not mm -hmm. that they don't love the other categories, but has he ever considered driving a sprint car? Well, there's a lot more popularity, it seems, as a whole with the sprint cars, uh, and maybe a little bit more not notoriety for the guys that do drive them, but uh, the answer is pretty simple. He has thought about it at different times. It's never gotten overly serious. Uh, and at this point, you know, some factors are playing in. Age, the fact that he's got a couple of young kids and a wife at home that doesn't want to put in the extra time that maybe that would require. So in, in, in a short answer, yes, he's considered it. But at this point, you know, never say never, but the window's probably closed. All right. Great story. Thanks, Jay.